Welcome back to Total Board Gamers. This second video on the board game Hanks Gods of the Gyps from Simon. This video, I show you how to customize your game to make it unique. I will show you how to protect your cards with good size sleeves, how to protect and beautify your boxes, the character board and the game board. And of course, I will show you how to paint all the miniatures in the game using as little equipment as possible and going as fast as possible. Make yourself comfortable and go for the viewing. Let's start with the cards who have four different card size. Here are the cards of the characters. There exists no protection of this dimension. So I advise you to use a laminator machine. If you do that, be careful when you want to store the cards you will have a very little space. For this card size, I will use a 2.2 inches and 3.4 sleeves. The height of the card protector is a bit tight and it will be missing one or two millimeter. I show you the difference with on the left a protected card and on the right a blank card. To my knowledge, it exists no protection for this card sizes either. So I advise you again to use a laminator machine. And for this card, use a 2.75 on 472 sleeve. In its dimension, the protection is perfect. Now let's look at the box and the storage. For large cards, even protect, it fits perfectly. For small cards, it's the same. There is no much space to store these cards. There is a little bit of space, but very little. And for the cards of the characters, in the same way, we have very little space to store them. To protect cardboard boxes, I advise you to apply a gloss spray varnish on the front and the back. This will make the box shine and also protect them from the moisture, from beer drops or dust, for example. Apply two thin layers spaced about 30 minutes. In the same way, to protect the game board, I advise you to apply a spray varnish, but this time not a gloss varnish, but a matte varnish. Otherwise, with the lights, you will have reflections and you will not see the game board well. Let's move on to painting the figurines. First step, we'll remove the molds. For this, you can use a specific tool, a cutter or a sharp knife. Try to remove as much molds as possible. Miniatures do not represent units, but rather armies but we will move on to the battlefield. So we are going to paint them with the same one color, one for each gold. We will apply two gray undercoats that we will lighten and then apply two thin coats of the contrast set of the same paint. For the guardian miniatures, we will paint them according to the color of the back of the card. Well, folks, in this case, we can paint them in a more classic way since it represents specific units. But to keep an homogeneous wall, I prefer to apply a single shade per type of figurine. In this way, for the miniatures of Ra, we'll use a yellow, the contrast Yandon yellow. For the Osiris, we'll use the contrast Plague Bearer Flesh. Blood Angel Red for Hamun, Esthermatic Blue for Isis, and Magos Purple for Anubis. Well paint Contrast Blank Templar Guardians of Level 3. For the Guardian of Level 2, we'll use the Griffhound Orange, and for the Level 1, we'll use the Shyish Purple. And of course, don't forget the Dromedaries, we'll use, of course, the Contrast Agoras Dunes. You can apply the undercoat with a brush or a brush, but in all cases, apply, apply two thin layers. I prefer polyurethane because it's more resistant than acrylic. And we don't forget the camels or dromedaries as you want. And remember to apply two coats, otherwise you will have this result. This step is optional. We'll dry brush the miniatures in white.
I always try to brush perpendicular to the edges of the miniature. And don't forget the camels. We'll now paint a layer of undiluted white and the most protruding parts. The previous optional step is finished, so we'll be able to go to this step or if you have not done the optional step before, go directly to this. So we'll apply stylish purple for Guardian of level 1, Agoras Dunes for the Camels Dromedaries, Griff Hound Orange for Guardians level 2, Black Templar for Guardians level 3, Contrast Blood Angels Red for Aemon, Black Bearer Flesh for Osiris, Iron Yellow for Ra, Atematic Blue for Isis, and Magus Purple for Anubis. Let's start with the miniatures of Anubis. In order not to be mistaken, look at the underside of the base to check that the color matches well. Load color in the dry palette. And mix it with all parts of technical contrast median. In this video I use a Citadel brush shade size M. You can also use a standard size 2 brush and mix it well for at least 30 seconds so that is homogeneous. We'll paint the miniature from top to bottom trying to keep the same amount of paint on the set. Keep the dry palette nearby as you will need to reload your brush regularly. Here is the result after the first coat of paint. On this miniature I made a try, I only use the contrast without medium. Be careful to remove all excess paints on the bottom parts. Let the fragrance dry for at least one hour because I use a medium and that delays the drying. And after an hour or two, we'll apply the same diluted paint on the wall miniature. Here is the new example with the level 1 gradients with the shyest purple. I'm sorry, I only just realized that I presented two miniatures in purple to you, but it turned out that it's my favorite color.
Here is the result after applying the first coat of paint. The Guardians level 1, the level 2, the level 3. Anubis, Isis looks very great, probably my favorite, Ra, Osiris, and Amon, and the Dromedary's color. At this level, we can simply paint the bases, varnish the fragrance, and it will be ready to play. Or we can apply a second coat of diluted paint, and so here is the result. Colors are more intense and details to stand out better. Watch my camels, they are beautiful. There are some colors which look better than others. Watch a thematic blue from Isis, it's beautiful. In general, I find that light colors are more successful. For the bases, we use the Citadel Technical Agrolan Earth. We take a large amount of product on the brush and we just tint the top of the base. Once it's dry, we get this result with cracks. We'll now use a black wash from Valero. You can dilute it with water and we'll apply it generously on the entire base. Then we tilt the fragrance towards you to recover the excess liquid. To reinforce the color around the base, I use a polyurethane gray like for the undercoat, and I make one or two thin coats. Here is a new optional step. We'll apply a turnitus stone from the dry set from Citadel to lighten the top of the base. Now, here is the last step, which is optional. We can apply the stuff tone quickshent from the Army Painter. Here is a sample. The left is with the soft tone. The right has not. The same with the Ra. Left is soft tone. The Mummy. The left is soft tone. The right is not. And finally, I show you the God Ra on which I apply the soft tone and you can compare it with Osiris on which I don't apply but I think I do it later. This video is finished, thank for watching, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to support Total Games, please subscribe and share, it will help me a lot because I will not ask you for tips or Patreon. On Total Games you can find all the detailed content without any paid subscriptions. Anyway, it's time for me to say you have a good play, have a good game, and goodbye!